Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. Six groups. Group A. Ay, 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 ay. Mm. Well, I'm gonna make myself very unpopular already for the Scottish fans, but I think it's gonna be... Mm. Now, they still, we can still switch, I'm just thinking about it. I think Germany is going to win at least two out of three matches. Six points. Okay, let's see what else. Group B. Oh, that's a monster group as well. Holy shit. Spain number one, I'm pretty sure. Although Croatia could also win against Spain, but we want to put them on two. Albania is four. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Spain played the last te test matches. They played absolutely phenomenal. Italy, man. I think, I think the thing is with Italy, <laughs> Hungary and Italy, funny, look at them. <laughs> um, Italy and Hungary. I know Italy and can be such a wild card. Like in a way they 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 are I don't know how they perform right now, but I wouldn't underestimate Italy because it's still one of the OGs. It can always happen. Italy can come come out of the back. Albania, I I don't know anything about Albania. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um I'm sorry, English people, but I'm going to put you on two. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that England is going to be two. I'm not sure why. I think England will win two matches and lose one. And Denmark will win two and have one draw. Dave, don't be, don't be so sick. Germany could also be two or three or four. It's just my personal prediction how I think everything is developing. That doesn't mean you can't win the tournament, man. Really realize that. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna make myself very unpopular with this group. I'm really gonna make myself very unpopular with this group. Well, first of all, sorry, Poland. Personal bias plays a bit into this group, guys. Oh, I'm gonna make myself so unpopular with this group. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself so unpopular with this group here. <laughs> I do feel like, I'm not joking, I feel Austria will win against France and the Dutch will also win against France. The Dutch will win in a ridiculous 1-0 though. Oh. <laughs> Guys, it's just my personal thinking. Maybe Austria is going to be second and the Dutch are going to be first. I'm not sure. But I don't... I think... Oh, but also, by the way, I think France will advance. Remember, even the third place can advance. But, hey. Ralf Ragnick. Guys, come on. Okay, this is going to be by far the hardest group for me because I don't have a lot of intel. <laughs> I, I have no intel on this one. So I'll just go with... Yeah. <laughs> like, like here, I have no clue. I have no clue. Really, Group E, yeah, I know Belgium, but that's pretty much it. I saw Ukraine playing, but Ukraine had some really clear deficits against the German team. So, I'll just put Belgium on one. Group F. It's gonna be Cristiano's last one, I think, and he does 
perform quite well right now. Now, I know Turkey has a very potential, a potentially very strong team. The problem is Turkey lately didn't perform at all. And they got smashed by Austria, 6-1. <laughs> but I do think personally, Turkey is only going to be third. I think the Czechs are going to be there for a surprise on the second. And Georgia, it was nice knowing you. And it was great you've qualified, but I don't think they're going to make it first. So, now, which big four teams which will make it out of the knockout phase? Oh my god, man. That is awful. Well, France definitely. Italy probably as well. But, like, Turkey, I also think, has a decent chance, but I'm not sure between Serbia and Hungary. I'm really uncertain. Serbia has so much individual quality and I have not enough intel for myself on Hungary. Serbia, right? Okay, sorry, Hungary. Boom. <laughs> oh, shit! Shit, what do we have here? If England is second, what do we have here? <laughs> oh, sheesh. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Hello, Dave, my friend. <laughs> Ain't no way. That's an interesting match we're having there. Well, Turkey and Spain. I'm sorry, Spain. Oh my god, bro. Honestly, I think... <laughs> oh my god. I think it doesn't really matter who I choose here because here is gonna be the end of either one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't know in my first prediction, whoever I'm gonna choose here is gonna end here. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, Okay, we're gonna mm. Honestly <laughs> Honestly it doesn't, like, of course I'm going to choose Germany for my own heart, but it doesn't matter, bro, because here, Spain kills whoever is there. Mm. I'm sorry, I don't see us winning in Spain. Currently, at least. Again, this is just my personal prediction, guys. This doesn't need to be perfect what I think is going to happen. Let's see, Portugal, Italy. Ooh. By the way, I do hope that Germany wins. I do hope that Germany is gonna be winning the tournament or Austria, but I don't see it here, at least in this. Portugal versus Italy. Uh, view details. Uh, no details available. Do you think Cristiano can pull it off and his team? I don't know. Doesn't Portugal have a lot? Doesn't doesn't have Portugal have a lot of newer players? Yeah, like young stars nowadays who are actually performing very well. Yeah, gleich gleichzeitig. Okay. Well, if if they have the new new power. Ooh. I think we're gonna have a surprise here. I don't know, I don't see Belgium that top rated. Well, Ralf Ragnick once more. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Bro, what are these things I chose here? Those are like giga close ones. Like, of course you can say France will beat Denmark, but that's not an easy way. 
Denmark is a pretty decent team as well. So is Switzerland against Croatia. Oh my goodness. What have I created here, chat? What have I actually created here? Honestly, I'm guys, again, I might be completely wrong, but I don't care. We want to spice it a bit up. Denmark wins. Didn't France and Denmark had a pretty, pretty close game in the last tournaments? Didn't France and Denmark had a really close game actually? Last turn in the last some I don't know if the last tournament or the tournament before didn't it was a really close game. It was a draw. Oh damn. <laughs> mm. Oh my god! Stop! It was uh First of all, it was a draw, but didn't it end up in penalty shooting? And as far as I'm aware of, France doesn't have Lurie in the goal anymore, right? France doesn't have Lurie in the goal anymore, right? Oh man, okay. Because Lurie's, Lurie's was an insane keeper. And if they don't have him, I don't know the new keeper, no clue, but Lloris was a really, really fantastic keeper. So if it's a penalty shooting, I see Switzerland. Switzerland, Croatia. I mean, both are tournaments, both are tournament teams. But I do think Croatia has the best individual class more. So what do we have here? Also, sorry, Germany, but... I hope you're gonna win against Spain if you ever fight them, but I don't see it right now. I, 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 guys, if the first matches would be over, the group phases, I could, could have a better idea from this. And a lot of people will cope about on YouTube when I post this video. It's one I'm, I'm fully aware of it. But right now, from what I've seen lately, I think Spain is gonna take it. Netherlands, Portugal. Now can two chat was I think a bit earlier. Portugal Netherlands. Like I know I know Jesma is completely biased towards Portugal, but I feel like two systems are hitting on I feel like you have this brick network which is Netherlands and then you have the faster pace with Portugal. And I'm not really sure. Okay, well, oh my god, man, <laughs> what a classic game, man, Portugal versus Spain. <laughs> Serbia, you lost already against us in the test training, so, boom. Why? Ralf Ragnik, Zabica! Nah, okay, sorry. Totally not biased, by the way, guys. Hmm. Now, actually... Hey, no! No! Ah, okay. That's how I can reset it, okay. Let's go with Denmark or with Croatia. I don't know, man. Denmark. We want to spice it a bit up. Oh my goodness gracious. Imagine, like no jokes, imagine... Imagine Portugal versus Austria would actually be the final. Imagine. This game, man. Ronaldo and the boys? Or the Spanish?
I think it's going to be very tragic. Wait. Ro didn't, Ronald didn't Ronaldo win? Didn't Portugal win the European Cup a few years ago? 2008-2016? With the most minimalistic and disgusting football that I've ever seen. I, I still remember Portugal was like the corpse that went through the whole tournament super minimalistic. Wasn't that the tournament, guys? Where, where Portugal kind of like shuffled, uh, sh shoved himself in front through the whole tournament, playing very minimalistic. <laughs> well, then CR wouldn't be too... Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give it. I, I, if this would ever be a game, I think it's going to be free to Portugal. I hope, I feel like if Austria and Denmark goes into penalty shooting, Denmark would win. If Austria can win in the regular time, uh, play goals, uh, place goals in the regular time, then Austria is going to win. Also guys, you should be aware, like no matter what you see, I do really rate Austria very high this year and I'm really biased towards it, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm really biased towards it. You don't need to tell me that. I really hope they're going to win the cup. But again, just because I clicked certain things here, I think everything could happen. Everything could happen. Germany could win the European Cup. The Dutch could win it. Well, maybe even Czechia is going to be in the final. Who knows? Maybe there's going to be a complete, complete surprise. I just don't think France is going to win it this year. Maybe they're going to be in the half-final or in the final, but I don't think France is going to win it. And I don't think... I don't think Croatia either or, or Belgium. But hey. Ralf Ragnick. Frey, Ralf Ragnick. Zabica, Baumgartner. Guys, we go. Portugal won already the European Cup, so they don't mind losing it. Boom. That's my prediction, guys. It's not optimal. It changed. Like, again, take this with a grain of salt, chat. Simply because we haven't had any group phases. I think it would be way easier for me to put something proper up, judging on the group phases. Right now, I only saw test matches where, for example, Spain completely nuked his opponents. Germany did play not bad, but not great either. England lost against Iceland, and so on. Ukraine played a 0-0 against Germany, but then lost utterly 3-0 against Poland. So everything is possible here. My personal feeling would be, or my hope would be, that either Germany, obviously, or Portugal wins. I only uh, no the Will Germany or Austria wins. Subbed for four months. That's my four personal months preference. In, still loving it. And it could happen. Sure, other teams could also win. I'm not sure who's gonna do it in the end. I hope it's Austria or it's Germany personally because I'm supporting both clubs. But everything could happen. There could be surprises. Like for example, if you ask me from the complete surprises besides obviously Austria, I think the Czechs could also have a nasty surprise open for people. I think Denmark could make it very far. So does Switzerland in the end. Who knows? If Turkey uses his combined strength with the new player and golden generation they slowly have there, they could also be coming very far in the tournament. The problem is they lately didn't perform with that power. So everything can happen. And f what I love about the Austrian team is they didn't run their perfect 11 team yet. Even in the test matches they had, they were experimenting crazily. So, let's see how it's gonna go. This is my prediction, guys. Again, it's before the tournament starts. Take it with a grain of salt. And be aware that I do wish Austria would win the tournament or Germany. But this is just my personal thing here. Of course... Legend would be legendary would be Germany Austria in the final and then I don't care who wins <laughs> That would be the most optimal for me Austria Germany in the final <laughs> But yeah
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little prediction. I know a lot of football fans gonna be crazy. How dare you putting this up? How, how dare you? This is just a personal idea. I didn't even know what's gonna happen in the group in the round of 16 here when I entered all these n things. But I hope you enjoy it. And I will upload it on YouTube as well. So if if, if you didn't miss it, if you missed it on the stream, we're well, looking forward to. I'm gonna put it on YouTube, yeah. And all I gotta say now, guys, is let's go back to ships. And Austria will win the European Cup. Screw you guys. <laughs>